Hello everyone. Welcome again. Today we will see how to generate the tracks and the layout. What we have done till now is we have generated the schematic. Okay, we have done the schematic diagram from the circuit and then assign the footprint for the components after that we have generated the nest net list so now we will be generating the tracks and the layout After that, we will generate the Gerber file. Once we have done with that, we will give that Gerber file to the PCB manufacturer. Okay, so today we will do the tracks and the layout. Click on KiCad software. Now from the third option, click on PCB layout editor. Now this is the PCB new where we, we will be designing our PCB. Let's set our page settings. Fill out the information. The date version title now we can also select the page click on ok now click on the read night list from the top toolbar and keep all the settings same and click on read netlist now we need to select the proper path once selected click on read netlist like if you want to select voltage doubler netlist file click on dot net file of that project and then click on ok this is the output message that will be error will be displayed on it now click on close the layout will be tied to your cursor now click anywhere on the sheet Okay, so these are the footprints. Now click anywhere on the sheet. Now, what if I want to move that component? Click go on that component and click M from the keyboard. You can also rotate that by clicking on R from the keyboard to rotate that component. Arrange all the component. Once we have done with the arrangement, you can see from on the right side there is f.cu, bottom.cu, f.cu stands for front copper, b.cu for bottom copper. These are the layers on which we will work. We will be working on f.cu, b.cu, f.silk and h.cuts. Can also have a 3D view of 
the footprint. This is the 3D view. Now click on edge dot cards and click on line or polygon. This will be the size of the board or the size of the PCB. Now draw a rectangular or a box which will be your dimension for the board. You need to draw a straight line. Draw a rectangular outline box which will represent your board. Double click to release. Now if you want to check the dimension of this particular board, click on inspect and then click on measure. This is same as the vernier caliper. We will measure this. It is in inches. The length and the breadth of the PCB. Now click on design rule. We will set the track width. Set the track width at 0.4 and click on OK. Now, as you see, is it is in red color. OK. Red color indicate front dot copper f dot cu. Now, if I select bottom dot copper, it will not work since our IC any 555 is as SMD. So it will be on front dot copper. It is only placed on the front side. So click on F dot CU and click on tracks from the toolbar. Okay, how do you select the track? Click on this pad. Okay, and then move your cursor where you want to where is the next pad and then click on the pad same goes for all other pads as you can see if you click on one pad it will highlight the all other pads which need to be connected go for all other pads now we will need to Click on DRC from the top toolbar and click on start DRC. Click on OK. So we have done with the tracks. Now save the project by Ctrl S. Now if you want to have a text like input, like J1 is the input and J2 is the output, it can be done on f.silk and then click on text from the right toolbar. Okay, so we have done with the tracks and layout. Now. We want to generate the garbled file. Click on the plot. These are the layers which we want to select. Okay. Then click on plot. Note that we are generating a garbled. Then in plot format go for garbled. And then click on plot. Also you can save the garbled file at the your own location and then click on plot now 
we need to generate the drill files click on drill file and se then select the path where you want to save the drill file click on generate the drill file it will generate the drl file as you can see we have generated the files like drill file gerber file and so on now we have ready with the pcb we can give this gerber file 